Well, we all know gaming is just a huge market right now. More people are gaming than ever. All different types of ages. In fact, the average age for a gamer is around 38 or 39 years old. So these people have a lot of money of disposable income. Should they get the best hardware for gaming? And to help explain that, I have Carlos from TP Link. Thanks for joining us. Th th thank you for having me. So I love tech. I love you know, hardware, networking hardware. Gamers are super geeky people. Do they need a dedicated Wi-Fi 7 gaming router? The short answer is yes. Gamers are always looking for an edge when they're on, on, on online gaming. Yeah. And maybe the most exciting product that we're showcasing here for a lot of folks is our gaming router. It is a new router that will be available early net next or early th this th this year. Yeah. And it really showcases. I mean, just from the design itself, this thing looks like it's geared for gamers. It's coloring, it's LED lighting. It is it is a phenomenal router that enhances gaming performance through hardware mechanisms like a gaming port, a, uh, a ga gaming button that access accelerates uh, the gaming performance and it also has software mechanisms to help enhance gaming. So it absolutely is the combination of doing everything you possibly can to get that lowest ping available to be able to win or do whatever you need. So they really have no excuse. It's not their network <laughs> when they lose. It might be their own physical reaction time, but it's not the latency of their Wi-Fi network. Absolutely, and the fact that it's got Wi-Fi 7. Yes. I mean, we again talk about the, the technology enhancements there. There's so much that you can um, enhance a gaming experience with Wi-Fi 7. I think the biggest difference is lower la latency. Yes. And, and a technology called multi-link operation yeah. that allows you to aggregate all bands to be able to get the best performance. And gamers are gonna love that. Is, is that something that unique about Wi-Fi 7 when you're using that kind of dual bands? and combining them together? Yes, multi-link operation, very unique to Wi-Fi 7. And it's not two bands, it's three, oh. right? So the idea that you have 2.4, 5 gig, and a 6 gig band, and on some routers, you even have four bands, which means that you have two 6 gig bands. But the idea is that you can combine all these bands together to get the best performance and to get a more reliable con connection. I gotta say, just looking at this, I love the design. now. Carlos, I don't want to date myself, but it's got like Knight Rider vibes of the way the light's going on. Can you change the color of the lights as well? You can change the color. You can do all sorts of things, but it, it, it absolutely, from a design standpoint, it was a very purposeful intent yeah. to design something that gamers would be extremely proud of and can sh showcase and not h hide it in a quarter, but have it right in their cent centerpiece. Yeah, well, you see that because they always have gaming set up that like LED lights everywhere. Right, right. And of course, their router is going to be one of the focal points because that's what powers the entire gaming experience. Yeah, no, so, so it is absolutely something that um, from the very beginning, it was always with the idea that how do we create a gaming device or a gaming router that enhances performance, but also aesthetically looks something that is very in line yeah. with a gamer. And we're excited about what we have here with the GE 800 and the GE 6 650. Well, if you are a gamer, you're going to need the best hardware for your gaming experience. And if you want to be smart about it, get yourself a dedicated gaming router like these ones. And you said it's coming out later this year. Correct. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks, guys.